for a dollar. Coke, Diet Coke and Tab, regular or caffeine free, just one forty nine for a six pack of the twelve ounce can. Safeway, America's favorite food store. It was vulnerable, Karen. Achilles heel. That's right, Achilles with the heel, and Karen goes into second place. Everybody knows that George Washington was our first president. What I want to know is who was our first vice president? Karen. Um, Adams. That's right, John Adams. And Karen pulls in ten dollars of Jeff. In an upcoming TV film, The Last Days of Patton, the great general will be played by the same actor who played him in the 1910? George C. Scott. In the 1970 film, Patton, you're right, Scott, it is. Tim keeps it close as well, going to 30. Now then, $15, the difference between all three players and a $15 money card and a big $25 money card up on the board. Third and final track of the fame game. Famous person. I am an actress born in Missouri in 1914 with the name Sarah Jane Folks. I tried my luck in Hollywood, but didn't succeed till the mid-30s, playing snub-nosed, brassy blondes. I got my big break in The Lost Weekend. Got an Oscar nomination for The Yearling. I finally won the award for my role as the... Tim? Jane Wyatt? No, incorrect. Out of the rest of the question, I'll continue for Perrin and Jeff. No dollar value, stay of 30. I won the award for my role as the deaf mute in Johnny Belinda. Jane Perrin. Wyman. Jane Wyman, right. Two different ladies. And Perrin... You are trailing now by $10, but find one of those big money cards, you can go into the lead. For my father, nine. And behind number nine, we have $400 up again. That is a tough decision. You can put $400 in your pocket. You're trailing by 10. Do you want to pick again or take that money? I think I'll pick again. I'll go for seven. And behind number seven, we have five. $25 money card. We will add that to Perrin's score. She goes into the lead over the champion by $15. We finish up the game with the speed round. 60 seconds on the clock. And looking at that score, Perrin is at 60. Jeff at 45. If he wins, he's got $10,000 in cash, and we'll talk about the $50,000 cash bonus, but he must win. Tim, you are not out of it at 30 as well. 30, 60, 45. Good luck. We finish a great game, starting with the speed round. Now, what was the circus profession of Emmett Kelly? Jeff, a clown. Right. Name the fantastic fungus that makes bread rise. Tim. Penicillin. Wrong. What imaginary line circles the center? Jeff. The equator. Right. Give me the nickname of 60s model Leslie Hornby. Perry. Twiggy. Right. What musical instrument is played perfectly by Itzhak Perlman? Jeff. The violin. Right. Name the your... You must answer. Then you lose five dollars. What color would an artist get if he mixes red and yellow? Perrin. Orange. Right. Name the naughty knight who is Lady Guinevere's lover. Jeff. Lancelot. Right. What kind of creature is a marlin? Jeff. It's a fish. Right. On TV, name the extraterrestrial played by Robin Williams. Perrin. Mork. Right. Hemlock. Hickory. Sycamore. Jeff. Spices. Wrong. Near what large Texas city would you find the Lyndon Baines Johnson space? Jeff. Houston. Right. With what form of popular entertainment do we associate Tin Pan Alley? Jeff! Uh, music. Right! What's the basic monetary unit of great time? Jeff! By five dollars! Has won it! He pulled it out for ten thousand dollars! Wow! Back with Jeff in just a moment. Well, congratulations. Jeff will be back with you in a moment. Hemlock, hickory, sycamore are all trees, deciduous trees. And I started to say the one that Perrin jumped in quick, the European country. I was going to say the national dance of the Highland Fling. It was Scotland. And it is yeast that makes bread rise. We have to say goodbye to Tim. First of all, didn't pick up anything along the way. The cash in front of you. Some nice parting gifts. Thank you. Perrin, you pushed the champion right down to the wire. I think it was just that one quick buzzer. But the bedroom ensemble, $70 in cash. You were well over $500 in cash and prizes. Thank you to a very fine challenger. Jeff will be going up there to the winner's board in just a moment, but right now, this is the last day. It is time for the sale of the century dollar bill contest, so all of you at home and everybody else, get those one dollar bills out. This is your last crack at it, and I hope you make it a good one. If the first six numbers in the serial number of your one dollar bill match the first six numbers of the final score, you are a winner. Here's that number. Reading across left to right. Two, five, seven, oh, seven, 
257075. If you have a winning dollar bill, sign your name in the margin of the bill, send it by registered mail only to Sale of the Century Contest, P.O. Box 4005, Blair, Nebraska, 68009. Include your name, complete address, and telephone number. We'll send back a dollar along with your share of the jackpot. Each winning bill may be redeemed only once. And according to the Treasury Department, there are 3,700,000,000 dollars bills in circulation. That means that somewhere out there, there are $3,700 bills with today's winning serial number. All winners over the two weeks of the contest, which ends today, will share the jackpot equally. The least you can win is $25. If you are the only winner, you'll get the entire jackpot of $30,000. Dollar bills with today's winning serial number must be received no later than 10 days from the date of this broadcast. I'll give you that winning number again later in the program, along with the complete rules. Right now, for our champion, Jeff, come on up one more time. Up with me. Well done. Congratulations. And she really pushed you all the way along the way. Well, Jeff, come on right up here because we're not even going to play that winner's board. Lee is going to hand you the suitcase. You've added another $10,000 in cold cash to your winnings. There are no more numbers up there for you to play, so you know it was the $10,000. Jeff, at this point, you are now at $72,794 in cash and prizes. You've got a very big decision to make, and that big decision right now involves this. Cash bonus of $50,000. So, Jeff, oh, here comes your mother with Lee, and yeah, I think Mom should be here because you've got a big decision. Jeff, up until now, you've had no decisions to make. You have won, you've matched, you've added prizes, as I say, over $72,000 worth. But now you do have a decision to make. That $50,000 cash jackpot. You can risk all the things you've picked up there on the board and add, try to add with one more win, that $50,000 cash jackpot, or leave with everything you've got. It is your decision, maybe the biggest decision of your life. You talk it over with mom. Do you want to risk, try for the $50,000 to have a total of well over $100,000 in cash and prizes? We'll find out your decision right after this. Even in the dead of winter at 40 below, my milk's got to get through. Kids depend on me. I can't be all sick. First sign of a cold, I take all the self- brand cat food has the three flavors cats love best and tastes so good it's become a universal favorite. Jeff Hewitt, from that winner's board, you have taken many wonderful prizes, $13,000 in cash up there, uh, over $26,000 luxury sports car, a total of $72,794 in cash and prizes you have. At this point, you can risk all of the prizes you picked up on that board to have those prizes plus $50,000 of the cash bonus with one more win or take what you've got, take no risk and leave. Jeff, a big decision. I know you talked it over with your mother. What are you going to do? Somewhere out there, there's someone who can run faster, jump higher and throw farther. And I don't want to meet that person. I'm going. He's going. Jeff is leaving with $72,794 in cash and prizes. The last winning number, 257075. Bye for now for Sale of the Century. Congratulations. Send in as many winning bills as you can find. Contest open to residents of the U.S., 18 years of age or older. Employees in the families of NBC, RCA, DL, Blair, and companies associated with Red Grundy Productions are not eligible. Dollar bills must have the correct serial number to win. Contests will be run under the direction of D.L. Blair Corporation, whose decisions are final. Winners are subject to verification of eligibility. If there are no winners, the subsequent home viewer sweepstakes will be run. There's nothing to buy. All taxes are the responsibility of the winner. Void where prohibited. The entire cash jackpot will be awarded. For a list of prize winners, send a self-addressed stamp envelope to Save of the Century Winners List. P.O. Box 4076, Blair, Nebraska, 68009. Some members of my studio audience are some of the funny to receive London Air travel accessories, including brush and shave kit travel. All prices are manufactured suggested retail value and are correct at the time of recording. This is Jay Stewart speaking. 
lights, toss caution to the wind, because you're coming up a winner on Wheel of Fortune. Then if you have a way with words, you'll love the fast and furious game of Scrabble. And on Super Password, play along with Joanne Worley and Charles Siebert of Trapper John. Wheel of Fortune, Scrabble, and Super Password. Game show fun weekdays on NBC. Thank you.